Hello. Today we're going to be talking all about D3 colors. D3, in addition to being a powerful charting and data visualization library, has many useful features relating to colors. There's a lot to cover, so we're going to dive right into them. So D3 has a number of color functions available. You can see the full list by going to the D3 API reference at the URL above and going down to colors. There's a whole bunch here we're going to try to cover as many as we can. To code along at home, go to the website d3js.org and open your developer tools with Control shift i on the PC or Command option i on the Mac. Once you're in this website, you can see we have D3 already here to play around with. So D3 has a couple of principal color functions. The simplest one for many people will be d3.rgb. Now d3.rgb will return an RGB object of a color that's passed in. This is easy and fun to demonstrate, so we'll say d3.rgb blue. Now you can see it's returned an object with, proper, with properties b255 for blue, g0, and r0. So let's do something a bit more interesting. We'll say var c equals d3 dot rgb purple. And if I click c, I can go c dot r 128. And that's the number of red I need in rgb to make purple. Getting pretty interesting. Next, we're going to cover d3 dot hsl. D3.hsl works in a similar way to D3.rgb. You pass D3.hsl a color. Let's go with orange. And it returns an object with H, S, and L. In this, H stands for hue, L stands for lightness, and S stands for saturation. And these make up orange. Now here's an interesting thing we can do with HSL. Let's say var orange equals d3.hsl orange. Now we'll say orange dot darker, and we'll get say darker by 10. Now you can see it's updated the h, the s, and the l. In this case, l was updated most. Now I have a darker version of orange. You can convert to different color spaces using the .rgb, .hsl, etc. of a color object. So if I go orange .rgb, now I have the RGB formula to make this particular variation of orange. So the last thing we're going to cover is d3.lab, which once again creates a unique color format for a color. We'll pass the color, we'll say green, green, and here it's created an LAB. L stands for lightness, and AB stands for two opposite sides of the color spectrum. LAB is pretty confusing, but it works pretty much the same way as the others. One more thing we'll talk about is inside d3.scale, there's a number of useful color utilities. For example, d3.scale category 10 returns a function. So we'll say var color scale equals d3.scale.category10. Now, if you pass color scale uh, number, it will return a different color based on the number you pass. And of course, if we pass this color to say d3.rgb, we get an RGB color to manipulate. Pretty cool. So using D3, we can cover pretty much all our color needs, and this is a handy thing to be able to do. Hope that helped.